Tonight, we're finally seeing what actually happened seven months ago when police shot and killed a man in Iowa Falls. KCCI has been working to obtain body and dash cam video at the request of the family ever since the shooting occurred in December. Jared Rishis was shot and killed by the Iowa State Patrol after allegedly stalking his girlfriend. After a standoff with the police, he tried to get into her car. That's when a trooper shot through the car's back window, hitting Rishis in the back of the head. After months of work, Chief Investigative Reporter James Stratton finally got the video from the police, and he spoke with Rishis' brother. The police cars and caution tape are no longer here on River Street in Iowa Falls when police shot and killed Jared Rishis in December. But his family says it should have never even gotten to that point. He wasn't supposed to pass like this. John Keyes remembers his younger brother, Jared Rishis, as a bright spot in the room. Jared was uh, a guy that would always bring a smile to whatever gathering we were at. But in his final years, that bright spot had a darkness hiding behind it. He struggled with substance abuse, which in turn um, became a mental, mental illness, mental health issue. Um, and I, I think it was just like at the end, he was at the point in his life, he knew that the damage had been done, um, both in his relationships and uh, in his brain. Keyes believes those two factors led up to the choices Rishis made the day he was shot and killed by police. December 8th, just after 7 a.m., dash camera video obtained by KCCI Investigates shows Rishis hit his ex-girlfriend's car. The Attorney General's report says she was trying to end the relationship and Rishis was stalking her. She later told police he pointed a gun at her she escaped unharmed. Put your hands up for me. Body camera video worn by an Iowa Falls police officer shows the start of the incident. He's got a gun in his hand. Rishis remained in his car almost the entire time and did have a gun, according to the video and police. We need you to put any firearms you have with you in the vehicle. Leave them there. And we need you to exit the vehicle empty-handed, please. The AG says and video shows Rishis did not follow that command. Instead, 54 minutes later, he got out of his car with a sawed off shotgun attached to his body using a sling and was shot in the leg with a less lethal round. Rishis then walked to the passenger side of the SUV, shot in the arm while trying to get in. And as soon as the brake lights turn on, an Iowa State Patrol trooper shot Rishis in the back of the head through the back window, killing him instantly. The state AG says Rishis was trying to leave the scene with a gun into a residential area in Iowa Falls and, quote, officers were left with no other reasonable choice than to shoot Rishis, end quote. Both troopers were ruled justified in the shooting. That individual on December 8, 2021, was an individual that had been um, traumatized through mental illness and addiction. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't the same person I knew. It's got to be tough as a brother. It's getting better as time goes on. Risha's older brother says he wishes he would have stepped in and forced him to get the help he needed. At that point, he he could still be here with us, whether he wanted to have a relationship with me or not, he would still be here. Hard to make someone change who doesn't want to change is what you're saying, basically. It's, it's extremely hard, um, especially if they've given up all hope. Now, the only views of the shooting that we have are from the Iowa Falls Police Department, both body and dash camera video, which again, we fought six months to get. The state doesn't have a legal time frame to fulfill a records request. Iowa State Patrol doesn't wear a body camera like Iowa Falls do, and they denied our records request for their dash camera video, which they've done for every single police shooting that we've requested for video of in the last year. Iowa Falls Police did not respond to our multiple requests for comments on the shooting. Again, if you or a loved one is struggling with mental health, dial 988. That is the new suicide and crisis lifeline. Rhea.